Hey guys, today we are going to be making one of my favorite appetizers. I just discovered it playing around with some goat cheese. You're gonna wanna make this. So I have an eight ounce log of goat cheese here. I just pulled it out of the fridge. You're definitely gonna want it cold for this recipe. I also have some coconut oil heating on the stove because we are gonna coat the goat cheese and fry it up. It's so, so good. So let's first cut our goat cheese and then we're gonna coat it. So I like to cut the edges off because they're not fully perfect. Okay, so we're gonna cut these pretty thick, about a half an inch. They're a little misshapen, that's okay. Goat cheese can be a little finicky, that's totally okay. Just press it all together. If you wanna stick your log of goat cheese in the freezer for like five minutes before you cut into it, it'll probably stay together a lot better. Put that aside real quick. For the coating, we have coconut flour. In this bowl is half a cup of coconut flour. You're not gonna use nearly all of it. You're gonna use just a little bit, but it's good to have some. We're gonna crack two eggs in our second bowl. I'm gonna give that a whisk. You want it fully beaten. Perfect, okay. And then our third bowl, which is our coating, this is just crushed pork rinds. Right here is about two and a half ounces. And this by itself will taste really good, but I like to jazz it up a little and add some parsley. It adds some pretty color and some flavor. So as much as you like, I like to go pretty heavy. And those are your three stations right there. Start with the coconut flour. Make sure you get it all coated. Drip off some excess and then straight into here. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm gonna finish up coating the rest of these guys and then we'll head over to the oil and fry them up. The oil is heated, it's almost there. It's at 336 right now. Having a thermometer in the oil is pretty critical. It allows you to keep the oil at a steady heat and that's important for frying anything. It's hit three, once it hits 345, I'm gonna drop two in at a time. I think that's the perfect amount. It's really only 30 seconds each side and then you're good. So we're gonna get these in. So the smoke point for coconut oil is 350. You don't wanna go over that. And as soon as you put the goat cheese in, the oil, the oil temperature will drop a little. You can see it dropping right here. That's totally okay. I think between like 335 and 350, you're getting a good fry. Okay, that looks good to me. It's really, really quick. The goat cheese is fried, it looks beautiful. It's a really quick process if you think about it. And my favorite way to serve it is with some marinara sauce, some tomato sauce. Last time I made this and I ate it, I used Rouse marinara sauce. You can get it in the grocery store. You can also make your own. These are great appetizers. So I'm gonna break one open for you, show you the goodness. Oh baby, look at that. It really doesn't get much better. I give this a little go. Oh man, you get the crunchy, you get the creamy. The mouth feels on this, incredible. The best we've ever had. You wanna make this recipe. Linked below is the description on how to make it step-by-step, step, all the macros for this so you know what you're you know what you're eating. You can just make it for a snack. You can make it for a party. This is the perfect appetizer for all people, not just keto. Thanks for joining me. Stan? Julie, stand. Julie's up. Oh, good boy.